Let's try to solve this problem. Let's multiply the following. So let's start with 1. x plus y times x minus y. So this is a type of a special product wherein we are multiplying the sum and difference of two same terms, x and y. So if that's the case, the shortcut formula for this will be the square of the first, which is the x, so x squared, then minus the square of the second term, which is y, so we have y squared. So the answer for this is simply x squared minus y squared. For number 2, we have x plus 3 times x minus 3. Again, applying the shortcut, we just squared the first term, which is x, so we have x squared minus the square of the second term, which is 3, so we have 3 squared. So simplifying further, we have x squared minus 3 squared, or 3 times 3, that's 9. So the final answer is x squared minus 9. For number 3, we have 2x plus 5 times 2x minus 5. So again, let's apply the special product. So let's square the first term, which is 2x. So we have 2x quantity squared minus the square of the second term which is 5 so we have 5 squared so simplifying we have 2x square means 2x times 2x or 2 times 2 that's 4 and x times x that's x squared so we will have 4x squared then minus 5 squared that will be 25 so this is the final answer for number 4 we have 4x squared plus 3y cubed times 4x squared minus 3y cubed. So applying the shortcut, we just square the first term, which is 4x squared. So we have 4x squared quantity squared, then minus the square of the second, which is 3y cubed. So we have 3y cubed quantity squared. Let's simplify. So 4x squared quantity squared means 4x squared times 4x squared. So multiply 4 times 4, that's 16. x squared times x squared. So copy the base x and then add the exponent 2 plus 2. So that will be 4. So we have 16x to the 4. Then minus 3y cubed squared. So again, that's the same as 3y cubed times 3y cubed. So 3 times 3, that's 9. y cubed times y cubed. So copy the base y and then add the exponents 3 plus 3. Or that will be 6. So the final answer is 16x to the 4th minus 9y to the 6th. For number 5, we have negative x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we cannot apply here the special product for difference of two squares because we don't have the same first term. Here, the first term is negative x, while here, the first term is positive x. So, if that's the case, we can just apply the FOIL method. So, let's multiply negative x times x, negative x squared. Then, negative x times negative 1, that's positive x. 1 times x, positive x. And then, 1 times negative 1, negative 1. So, we will have negative x squared, then combine x plus x, that will be 2x then minus 1. So this is the final answer. Okay, now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.